Coding with AI makes you feel like a superhero. Start a sentence and bam, AI can auto-complete it for you. Have a tricky problem to solve? No worries, just chuck it into a reasoning model. Want to YOLO an entire front end? Yeah, you can do that. Coding on only vibes alone is surely within our reach. But these improvements haven't happened by accident. They're the result of rigorous training against specialized evals that test an agent's performance on a specific task. Tools like Bolt, Replit or Lovable, and AI coding agents like Cursor and Windsurf are starting to take on full stack app development, building both the backend and the frontend. But building a backend and frontend is a much harder task for the AI. It has to interface with many different systems and gather much, much, much more context, which stresses its ability to use tools. So if we want to empirically compare how well an AI does using one library against another, we need a way to benchmark them against each other. And the problem is, is that there is no publicly available benchmark for doing this sort of comparison. Meanwhile, at Convex, we've been hearing from users for months now that they find that AI plus Convex is a fantastic combination for full stack apps. With just some prompts to fill in gaps from knowledge cutoff, we've heard that users have been able to build their apps at higher level autonomy than other tools. To validate that this is actually true, we've built full stack bench, it's a pluggable suite of full stack apps and integrations with different backend platforms. The way it works is coding agents are given a fully functional front end and then asked to implement its back end using one of the supported platforms. The apps vary in complexity and accordingly are given varying amounts of time to complete the task before we declare the run complete. The three backends currently supported are Convex, Superbase, and FastAPI. And just quickly, if you're not familiar with all of these, Superbase is a full stack platform centered around Postgres. With Superbase, you directly connect to the database from the client side and perform queries from there. And to prevent people from reading and writing whatever they want to the database, Superbase encourages developers to use Postgres row level security to restrict what the clients can do. And FastAPI is a web server for Python with standard patterns for authentication. And finally, Convex is a full stack platform for developers where they write the API, data fetching layers, and TypeScript. And everything is configurable from API endpoints to queries as pure code. So after setting up a task with a particular backend, we fed the task prompt concatenated with a backend specific prompt to Cursor Composer in agent mode. By the way, we have YOLO mode with all the YOLO options turned on. And then we start a timer and we let it rip. Along the way, we count the number of human interventions and terminate when the model has stopped making progress or hits a deadline. And the results from all this have been pretty interesting. Cursor Composer is able to almost completely solve the first two tasks with all backends. It struggles to solve the hardest task though, files one, with any backend other than convex. For the chat and to-do tasks, the agent effectively zero shots the task on convex with no hints and significantly fewer errors reported. The agent also solves the tasks over twice as fast on convex. And we attribute the speed to getting it right on the first try versus needing slow iteration loop with a human intervention. The files task at around 4,000 lines of code is hard enough to cause the agent to hit time limit on all backends. So after all this work, we have three main observations. When working with Superbase, the coding agent consistently struggled to implement business logic and authorization rules in SQL. With both Convex and FastAPI, the agent often autonomously got it right with its initial implementation. Cursor Composer has a tight feedback loop with type checking, where the agent will autonomously fix lint errors without human input. Both Superbase and FastAPI aren't designed to have strong type safety across the client and server. So the coding agent sometimes got stuck in loops or erroneously thought it was done when it wasn't. Convex's end-to-end -end type safety allowed the agent to correct its own hallucinations without the human intervention at all. Keeping data consistent in sync across multiple devices with concurrent modifications is hard for both humans and coding agents. State management was a consistent stumbling block for the coding agent when working with Superbase and FastAPI. Convex's live updating queries provide strong abstraction to the model, which then doesn't have to reason about state management and often gets its data fetching right on the first try. So in conclusion, 
Convex was designed to be great for humans, but it turns out this also makes it great for AI. And we're going to continue to iterate on this full stack benchmark in the future. Particularly as new models are right on the horizon, it's going to be interesting to see how they perform when developing Convex apps. If you'd like to learn more about AI evals and how we use them to greatly improve AI performance when writing Convex code, you should check out this video right now. Until next time, cheerio.